So one of the many systems we've built to help support our agent associates on the team is a jot form. Um, and when you hear our admin staff say, I need the jot form, I need the jot form, I need the jot form. What that means is they need for you to upload your signed agreement or document along with introductions and details of all the parties involved on the buy or sale side for the transactions you're working. If there is no jot form submitted and a jot form is basically a Google Drive entry document, right? That's a link. It can be worked fine for mobile too. Um, that allows you to communicate with the admin team on the business that you have. A lot of times it's easy to be like, oh, I got a property under contract. I'm just going to group email everybody. No, that is not the standard. That does not work. That doesn't help our admin team have all the information they need to set their systems and process as well. So on the buy side, Within 24 hours of going under contract, you need to upload the contract and completely fill out the jot form with everybody's contact information. All of our jot forms also have an extra added info section. Please put all the extra details that we need to know. If it's a house that we're buying and Uncle Joe has to be there for everything, and you know that, like don't assume that something about a transaction that you know in your head is just implied. It's much better to have it all in writing somewhere. And this is important because if you have to take a step away from business, emergency, personal life, whatever, the more information we have in that job form, the more easily we can have somebody come in and support you, which is the power of a team. So on the buy side, 24 hours from the time that it is under contract, you need to put the information in the job form. A quick logistics thing with the buy side job form is that it's still your responsibility to schedule the home inspection, assuming one is needed for the contract. So you schedule it and you input that information to the job form as well. If you schedule it after you submit the job form, that is a step on your side to go back and make sure you communicate it to the buyer agent team and to the transaction coordination team. But it's your job to get the file under contract, submit it, uh, upload the job form, complete all the information that's needed in there and then make sure that the transaction coordinator has it and has what they need to go. Because what's cool is after you submit the job form, generally their schedule is within 24 hours, they send out all the intro emails, calendar invites, all the details of it that make your life easier happen after you fill out the job form. That's on the buy side. Uh, I'll talk real quick about the listing side because there's actually two different job forms that come into play with the listing side. The first is the listing preparation request form. What this does is when you have a listing and you have gotten that listing agreement signed, the listing preparation request form alerts our listing management team of what needs to happen next and when. There's going to be a minimum standard of seven days, ideally 10, but seven days minimum from submitting a job form to a property going online. That's the minimum. And again, if it has to happen quicker, you as the agent will need to step in and coordinate some things to make it happen faster. But our team is dealing with, I mean, already in the 2021 calendar year, we're on track to exceed 100 listings that we're going to work with in the calendar year. That's a lot, right? It's one every three days almost. So they have to make sure they have all the information and can set their calendars up correctly. The listing preparation request form lets you put in a contract and then also outline when photos need to get taken, does it need to get cleaned, does work need to get done, who are the players that are involved, is there an estate, is there a referral? All that information can get submitted there and it lets the admin team know what they need to do next. If there is anything urgent or that is not necessarily reflected in the job form, like preform fields, put it in the extra info section. Same thing I said about the buyer forms is true of the listing prep form. All the extra info is always better so that we can adequately support you. After a listing is under contract, there's another seller contract job form. This allows you to put in the information for the other party. So the buyer agent, the lender, the title, everybody they're picking on the other side. And again, you want to make sure all the information you have goes into that job form. These are things that can maybe take you four or five minutes to submit accurately. And by you investing that time and doing it as soon as the business opportunity has happened, that just makes everybody's world so much better and helps you then not be stressed out about what's happening when because you've put the timelines in the job form. If you ever got questions about the job forms, our listing management team and transaction management team can help walk you through them, but they are pretty straightforward. And if you've ever filled out any type of information collection or survey, you can do these. They're pretty easy.